heavy rocket fire bombards Israel. A Jerusalem Post reporter shares his experience in the South. Operation Protective Edge enters day 50. And Hamas shows off their find. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are your headlines for Tuesday, August 26. Operation Protective Edge entered its 50th day on Tuesday and Israel came under heavy rocket fire. Rocket sirens blared in Tel Aviv and central suburbs on Tuesday morning as the Iron Dome defense system intercepted a rocket over the region. On Monday night, northern Israel also came under fire when two rockets were fired from Lebanon. The IDF responded with artillery fire at the source. A total of 115 rockets and mortars were fired into Israel on Monday, causing property damage and injuries. Fourteen of the projectiles were shot down by the Iron Dome. On Tuesday morning, before noon, a total of 53 projectiles had been fired from the Strip. On Tuesday morning, 50 homes were damaged in the south by heavy rocket fire as it continued to pummel. The Jerusalem Post reporter Ben Hartman was on the scene yesterday and is on the phone to report his experience. Speaking to residents of the South yesterday, the 49th day of Operation Protective Edge, it didn't seem or you didn't get the feeling that people thought that the operation had really achieved its goals, uh, certainly not the goal of being able to, uh, the principal goal of being able to uh, finish Hamas's ability to uh, fire rockets on the Israeli front, home front, or at the very least to establish some sort of deterrent uh, to prevent them from doing so. People didn't feel that that goal had been reached. Uh, they also felt that there's possibly the only way to solve this is to either uh, enlarge the military operation and go in with another ground operation and, and you know, quote unquote, finish the job, whatever the cost, or achieve it through the diplomatic means, through talks, through truces, uh, you know, either indirect or direct talks with Hamas. People also don't feel that that's really being pursued. Uh, at the moment, if we look just yesterday, there are well over 100 rockets. Today, we're on, uh, on target for that same number. Just as we're speaking, there's rocket sirens coming in. So there doesn't really seem to be uh, today any sort of feeling that it's really achieved those very principal goals. People seem to be uh, very tired, uh, rather angry, and still living in the same sort of fear that they had at the very beginning of the operation and over the last 10 to 14 years. If anything now, uh, just more tired and just more frustrated. The IDF struck more than 70 targets across Gaza on Monday and another 15 overnight into Tuesday. The Army said it struck a rocket launching site after recording rocket attacks from a school compound in the Shajia neighborhood from a concealed launcher west of Khan Yunis. Before dawn, Israeli air strikes killed two Palestinians and destroyed much of one of Gaza's tallest apartment and office buildings, setting off huge explosions and wounding 20 people. The IDF says the buildings attacked included apartments used for planning terror activity and for the manufacturing of weapons. Hamas's armed wing claimed on Monday that it had succeeded in seizing an Israeli reconnaissance drone in East Shajia in Gaza City. The video shows a Hamas-masked fighter carrying parts of what the group said was an Israeli drone. They did not provide any details about when the alleged drone capture took place. Israeli authorities did not immediately comment on the drone or the Hamas claim. And that's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more headlines. For now, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studios.